Hi everyone! In this video, we will compute the z-value for one population mean with known standard deviation. A school district is evaluating a new standardized test scoring method. They claim that the new method does not change the average score, which is currently 70%. To assess this, a sample of 60 tests is scored using both the old and new methods. Determine the critical values for a one mean z-test at the 5% significance level, if the hypothesis is test is two-tailed, where the alternative hypothesis is mu does not equal 0 0.7. We were given the alternative hypothesis, and just for practice sake, the, alt the null hypothesis is uh, where it is equal to 70%, so we'll say mu equals 0 0.70, just for practice sake. The alternative hypothesis is what determines our type of tail test and where the mean is not equal to 0 0.7. This means that there's two ways to not be equal. You can be less or you can be more, meaning it's a two-tailed test. So that part is correct as well. And this will be on a normal curve where we're looking at one tail here and one tail here. And right down the center will be where mu equals 0.7. We were also told that the significance level, or alpha, equals 5%. Changing this to a decimal, we have 0 0.05. But that's the entire amount of area under both tails. So we have the area here and the area here that equals a significance level of 0 0.05, or 5%. So if we want to know what's under one side of these, we'll need to divide 0 0.05 by 2 to find the area under uh, what, just one side of the tails. 0 0.05 divided by 2 is 0 0.025. We were also asked to find the critical values, meaning that we have a two-tailed test and we will have two different values for the cutoff below and above for us to make a conclusion about our hypothesis. We're looking for the z-scores that will give us this cutoff for the critical values. And there are several ways we can do that. We can estimate with the empirical rule. We can use a calculator. But in this case, we're given a z-chart to our left. And we're going to find the z-value, or the uh, z-score, for when we have 0 0.025 down here and we have 0 0.025 uh, area up here. So let's go look at the chart and we are looking for the point of 0 0.025 right here, giving us a critical value of 1.96. Now this is 1.96 in the positive direction, so that's our critical value on the right side above the mean, 1.96, but we also have a critical value to the left of the mean, which is on the negative side of the critical values. So this is negative 1.96. And we know that these should match to be exactly perfect because the normal curve is exactly symmetric over the center. So we have two critical values, critical value of negative 1.96 and positive 1.96. We've now found the critical values for this hypothesis test, and we're all done.